everyone. My goodness. Um, it's like it's like I never left. Um, it's so good to see you all in chat. We're here with our friend Nina. Hi, Nina from Weekday Studio. Hi. Hello. Where are you tuning in from, Nina? Uh, I live in Hawaii. Hawaii. Super fun. Um, and hello, friends in chat from everyone. Let me know where you are. I know you're dropping those space emojis. Um, we'll do a font giveaway in just a second. Drop those space emojis. Get chat going. Um, and what we're going to do here is I'm going to have uh, Nina kind of take it away. Nina, do you want to introduce yourself? Tell everyone a little bit about you um, and what you do? Sure. Uh, my name is Nina Hans. I'm the creative director and co-founder of Weekday Studio. Uh, I'm from Hawaii. I live in Hawaii. And we specialize in brand identity, uh, which is a little bit of what we're going to work on today. Um, but yeah, we kind of work from with clients, small and big, kind of around the world. No real specific industry, more just focus on kind of helping our clients bring their brands to their customers and ultimately, you know, fall in love with the brand is our primary goal and design. Yeah, super fun. And today we are hopefully going to fall in love with the brand as well as have a bunch of fun. Uh, it's going to be a great time. Um, all right. So for our font giveaway, drop in those space emojis. Jenna O'Brien, you are our winner. Uh, good job, Jenna. Uh, send me a DM here on Behance and I will send you one of my fonts. Um, we'll give you a little hook up there. Um, thanks so much for chatting, everyone. Jenna. Congratulations. Um, all right, so um, Nina, where can people find you? I want to put a slide up so that people can. Where can people find you on the internets? Sure. So uh, my website is weekdaystudio.com, and all of our social handles are the same. It's just weekday underscore studio. Uh, we have, you know, the Pinterest, the Instagram. Uh, yes. That's maybe kind of it. LinkedIn, if yes. anyone cares. You, yeah. got, you have to have a LinkedIn now. And like. Behance, of course, weekday underscore studio. Yes. And if you click over into the info tab, which is, I think I pointed, yeah, right over there. I think I pointed the direct, <laughs> I never can imagine. Um, you can follow on Behance. Um, you can follow Nina by just clicking the button. So go to info um, and it will very easily do that. So coming up at the end of this stream, we will be doing um, challenge reviews. Now, Here's the deal. Here's the deal, y'all. This doesn't happen very often, but the challenges just happened and I just taught you. So if we cut to challenges and there are no submissions, I'm going to be personally hurt in my heart. Uh, <laughs> so just know that we will be doing that at the end of the stream in about an hour and a half. Nina is going to give you some great feedback on your work. So make sure that you drop in um, to do that. Nina, do you want to help me with my favorite part? And that is pointing above us and there will be a link floating above our heads to tell people where to go. Um, Straight so up. Involved. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, I need to turn on. Let me hold on. Let me wait, wait for it. Let me turn on your. Oh, no. Where are you? Oh, hold on. All right. We're going to do this. It's going to work. I know it's going to work. Um, we are making this tight transition, y'all. All right. I, I need to make sure this is my favorite part. All right. You are here. You are floating. And my favorite part. All right. To get connected, go here to this link, bit.ly slash AI Discord. <laughs> we are pointing together. Go to that link. Uh, that's where you can get involved with our community. That's where you can post your work and your daily creative challenges. Um, thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. All right. Do we want to hop in, Nina? Are we feeling it? Ready to go? Sure. I'm ready. All right. I'm ready if um, you are, Andrew. I'm going to pop over to your screen, make sure this works, and we're good to go. Um, what are we working on today? Give us a little bit of the brief, and let's get going. Sure. So I'm from Hawaii, uh, however, have been living in LA for several years from high school to, uh, you know, a few years ago. During that time, everybody asks, what should I do in Hawaii? What island should I go to? Uh, everyone had a lot of people uh, my age and younger have this view of Hawaii as kind of this like tiki god 50s Elvis Hawaii, which is very much so not true to the culture. It just like stops um, time in the 50s. And you're like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Even time still travel. on TV shows today, it's like that. And that's just not real Hawaii. Yep. So it's always kind of been a, a pet peeve of mine. I'm not even Hawaiian, but I respect the culture so much. And it's given me so much growing up here. So it's just a pet peeve. Um, so yeah, people always ask us like, where do we go? What do we do? Should we even go? Is it really that cool? You know? And so it's always... Um, kind of been in the back of my mind that we should kind of solve this problem that young people really don't know what to do in Hawaii. And then, 
come COVID-19, it's kind of been exasperated because, you know, now no one's coming at all, which really, really affects our economy here. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I've just been thinking about that a lot and how to kind of help solve this problem and talking with friends and lots of small businesses who are struggling and thinking about basically how do we design a site um, and a quiz system that really curates kind of the perfect trip to Hawaii for each individual? Because we all like to vacation and travel differently, right? Like yep. I imagine, I'm, I just met you, Andrew, but you're going to do every single thing. You're going to want to hike and you're going to want to uh, learn to surf and you're yes. going to want to know the best cocktail bars. Yes. I literally and, went to Hawaii last year. And like the problem that I had was like, there's not enough time to do all of the things that I want to do. We did like a four true. and a half hour zip line tour over a waterfall. Like I'm just yes. do all the things. Yes. Yes. All of the things where then there's some people like me who I'm like, I like a little bit of the things and a lot of the like sleeping on the beach, right? Yes. So in massages and manicures. So oh, basically we're gonna run people through a questionnaire. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Do we have matching nails, blue Ooh, and gold? Very similar. We're pretty close. Where, yeah. How do I? Oh, there oh yours go. are That's way more fun. View. That's yeah. Mine are press are on more. nails. Oh, those are fun. That are hand painted for me. They're bananas. Um, oh, sorry, keep going. I'm I'm so, only here to distract you. <laughs> <laughs> It makes it funner. Yeah. Uh, so what I want, what I want to do is run people kind of through a quiz that gets to know who they are, what their preferences are, who they're going to Hawaii with. You know, is, is it a family? Are you, you know, a bunch of twenty-one year olds? And kind of get to know what um, the goal is of the trip. And then at the end of this quiz, which would hopefully just take you know a couple minutes, and ideally is really beautiful and fun, right? You get this curated package that tells you exactly what you should do in Hawaii, and you can kind of you know, pick and choose the things that are most important to you at the end, right? Yep. So that that's the main purpose of it. Um, but I want it to also kind of educate people. So a lot of people don't know about, you know, the Hawaiian culture um, and kind of how to act once they get here. So, you know, people can kind of act like kooks, as we call them. So I also want it to be a, a, a bit educational about kind of how to act as a tourist uh, when you in, arrive in Hawaii, but in a fun way. It's not, it's not, I think our culture so woke now, you know, they, yep. people want to know how to be respectful of culture. And um, I think that's a little bit missing in the tourism industry here. So I, I want that to be a part of it as well. Yep. And are you on the big island? What island do you live on? I'm actually from the big island. So I grew up in Hilo, but I now live and work in Maui. Oh, cool. Great. Uh, and, and chat, I just turned on some background vibes. I forgot that we didn't do the vibe check at the beginning of the stream. Um, on these long streams, we get to play some music. So Nina, I'm sorry Ooh. you can't hear it. I know, but there's like oh, really cool vibes happening underneath us. Okay. You can turn on music if you want. Um, is it Hawaiian vibes? I literally turned it on and the first song that came up, it's like a preset playlist, is Surf Couch Day. And I was like, yep, this is, it's I perfect. What that it's is, destiny. All right. So let me know if the audio levels sound good um, as we talk. Let me know, chat. And if you have any questions for Nina as we go, definitely drop them into chat. I'll be watching um, and answering those questions. Cool. So uh, today we are building a, a kind of overview for people like me that are like, what do I do in Hawaii? This is going to be the answer, right? That's, that's the hope. Sweet. Yep. Yes. Let's do it. What we can do in an hour and a half. I know, right? <laughs> All right, so should I take it away from here? Yeah, go for it. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is kind of give you guys a gist of how I start, like the process of something like this. So you can kind of see my board. One thing I kind of did this morning and last night, just started pulling images. Um, a lot are just very ocean based right now because they'll kind of be textures, um, but it kind of gives you an idea of the vibe, right? So the food and the, the suntanned babes and the flowers and the palm trees in the ocean. So I just pulled these from Adobe stock to kind of save us some time, but it's like, it's a little bit like my mood board slash I'm going to try to use some of these in some of our designs and hope that they work for us. Um, and then additionally, I pulled some illustrations as well that these will kind of help communicate the steps of the quiz. Oh my gosh. Those Adobe are so stock. fun. And the kind of primary reason is like, I really suck at drawing people. So I usually hire people to draw people. Yep. And um, so I found this really great, they're called Good Studio, shout out to them. Um, these are actually three different illustration packs and I felt that I pulled from that I felt like all kind of worked. So they, these are a little bit of like a step above a move board, right? Cause we're gonna actually use them, but it was a start in thinking of 
how I want this thing to look and function um, as far as the vibe. Have you laid um, out these images like in the columns that you have and stuff intentionally or those kind of just like, these are just the images I want to use? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not, they're not, uh, that's not a part of my design. I just they're like- so um, <laughs> Designers, right? Uh, you, um, these ones are, are look, mess. I didn't like use the align tool or anything here. Um, <laughs> it just, these just snapped right into this cute position, you know? Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, so I think the first things we're going to do today is I want to get a logo going. I want to choose our fonts. I already kind of have our illustrations going. I have some photo options. Um, so I want to kind of, but I just want to kind of try to figure out how to bring these all together today. So I, I want to start with the logo and I know that I want something really scripty. Do we and know what we're so, going to call it? Oh yes. Great question. So we're going to call it Hele which means like to go. So lots of times in Hawaii we'll say, um, let's hele, it means just like, let's go. And it's just kind of about the movement of getting on over to Hawaii, right? And it's just a cute word. It sounds a little bit like a made up Silicon Valley word as well, yeah. um, but it's, it's a real word. So it's spelled H-E-L-E. -E. That's so fun. It, it's like the, I mean, Southern California version, Southern California version of like, let go. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, totally yeah. like that fun slang that's a real thing that does sound like it is like this cool startup. Like, it's just a fun Yeah, yeah, yeah. It totally has the, the vibe of that. Um, so I think I'm just going to, so I just typed it into the sample text here. I kind of like the idea of putting an exclamation point on it, like Ooh. just giving it a little bit of movement and excitement. We'll see um, once we choose. I think I really want something scripty. So let's see. So I love using this like search or like put the sample text in during my search. Yep. And you're just like, on Adobe fonts, right? Like filtering by scripts. Yeah. Yeah. So I just chose the script right here and I'm just in like logged into my type kit. Um, none of those are quite working. I think I want something that kind of feels hand drawn. We might have to tweak it a little bit, yep. um, but I don't want this like uh, you know, feminine feeling um, wedding invitation vibe. Exactly. Yeah. That's like if I'm yeah, making like this one's a paper. Cool. Yeah. Let's see. Um, so what's really great about this too, and I do the same process that you're doing is you can type in your text um, to preview it and then know that like, oh, maybe I'm going to augment this in the future and change it up a little bit. This is a great uh, starting point. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, totally. Uh, so I, I've actually know that I've tried this for a different project and it didn't end up working, but I really like that one. Um, so I'm going to pull it in. Oh, I've used this one too, but it feels very wedding. Oh, uh, thanks. Um, Voodoo Val. Yes. You can go to fonts.adobe.com. Thanks for dropping that link in the chat. Um, you can go there and explore a, the wonderful world of fonts. Um, literally just go peruse and figure out whatever you want, whatever you like, sync it to your creative cloud and it will automatically sync into illustrator. So cool. This one. Ooh, that's a whole vibe. That's a vibe and a half. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> this, so, so in Hawaii, like kind of similar to Los Angeles, um, like there's this like hand painted signage everywhere. Yes. Like that's kind of what I'm going for is this like kind of, it is actually a little bit old timey, which I'm saying Hawaii is not stuck in, but it does have a little bit of that old timey feel. Yeah. All right. So let's pull in and let's look at those. Hopefully we've activated them. And all those right. illustrations, now, the, now what was it called? I, I do that all the time. I sync it and yeah. then I'm like, cool, I synced nine fonts and I don't know what any of them are. Totally. <laughs> it's nice when you do it quick enough that like it's still activating so you can see it in yeah, the top so right corner, like, but rarely does it happen that quickly. What was the other one called? Womp. Womp. I was about to go back on like the YouTube playback and be like, all right, let's find it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ooh, I don't know that I like Womp quite as much, but let's see. Yeah, I, I feel like Scriptorama. You know when you were like really want to, like I really wanted to use this for something else and um, it didn't work out and it's like kind of just been in my head that I'm going to use. Oh, 100%. Use it at some point, you know? Yes. Sometimes I like push fonts on clients just because I love them and like have to really think about like, is it the right solution? Yes. Uh, but because I'm just like obsessed and I just learned about it. Okay, so I feel pretty good about this. I'm pulling in my H a little bit. Um, and um, yeah, I feel, I, I'm actually kind of excited about this one. I think the, the yeah, I just can't handle this H. It's a lot. Um, I think the thing, I'm not sure about it. Let's see if it has any glyphs. 
I, uh, where's my glyphs panel? Ooh, fun. I don't love that, like, right here, how the E, like, uh, doesn't, like, smooth out with the L. Yep. You know, like, so it doesn't look handwritten. And then the same here with this L and this E. So, like, sometimes I know there's solutions for this in glyphs, right? Oh, yeah, some contextual alternatives. Yeah, you can actually go to open type. Um, there are, yeah, there might be glyphs. Um, but I think, oh, gosh, it's, um, in the type panel. Uh, so if you open like command T mm -hmm. um, and then click on the little hamburger menu on the corner yep, and then go to um, more options, show options right there. Show options. There you go. And then it should be oh, Andrew. Have I led you astray? Oh yeah. I think we're just in the character panel now. Yep. That is just the character panel. Um, let me see if I can pull it up on my screen and oh, there we All go. Right. It's just in the character panel. Okay. Um, it should be one of those tabs. It should say open type. Wait, well, uh, what tab? Sorry. The tabs above, um, where like, sorry, where you have the character. Yeah. It should be an open type panel somewhere in there. That's like a tab. Oh, oh, you mean like in these tabs? Yeah. Got it. Mm. Oh, maybe it's not there. Maybe it's a in window. You can pull it up. That's what I was thinking. I yeah. mean, like, why don't we just even just search for it? Um, oh my goodness. That is the number one feature that right? I miss on PC. So PC doesn't have the help search. Oh, um, honey. And so I had to like find stuff. But yeah, whenever I'm on my laptop, I'm like, this is glorious. I can just type yeah, that yeah, in. Yeah. All right, where'd it go? It said it opened up. We don't see it though. Maybe it closed it. Open no, it says it's there. Oh. Did you see something move? I saw it move that time. Wow, this must be real fun to watch. No, it's just showing me links and actions. Huh. Oh, there it is. There it's it hidden is. down here. Okay, we found it. Yes. Scavenger hunt. Um, here's yep. a question for you from someone, uh, Parth from India. Um, how do you get started uh, getting clients, making money from clients? How did you get started like being like, cool, I made money from designing stuff? Yeah. Uh, ooh, this gets, do, you, do you have an hour and a half? I know, right? Um, <laughs> so basically, <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm self-taught. So uh, hence the reason like this kind of stuff is so fun because we're all kind of just learning together, right? But so I learned like uh, maybe 12, 13 years ago. And so I was like scared out of my mind to try to get clients and even to like say like, I'm a designer. So, but it just started really slow with like doing work for friends and then friends, you know, for their small yep. projects for like not a lot of money. And then I think like, as you build confidence and you gain your vibe, you know, then that just leads to other similar work. Absolutely. Um, and just one thing built on the other that built on the other. And then now I've been doing it for so long. Um, that now that like I used to feel insecure about being self-taught and now I like love that about it. I'm yep, like, cause you can just I'm self-taught and like, I have a career off of this and like, I have employees and my husband works with me like, yep. and I get to enable that. So like that all just changes over just time and experience. But yeah, you just have to honestly, like going for it. the first jobs are just like your buddy. My first, first job was my now husband. So boyfriend at the time, his roommate. Oh, yep. you know, yeah, just his roommate's it, company. Yep. And then, you know, that, so I did a couple years of that. And then I did huge brands within like the first few years because I lived in LA alone. Like LA just has, you know, it's you meet people and so-and-so yep. works at so-and-so. You just run so -and people so. at conferences and totally. make those connections and it's great. So yeah, I, I think like the summation is, and I have the same story that it really is like you figure it out, you do stupid stuff for your friends that's fun and then start charging and then eventually get more and charge more and get more clients and charge more. And it really just becomes a snowball, but you totally. have to start with like, um, I don't know. It isn't, it isn't like a snow boulder. You have to start with like a hand packed little snowball that you start like rolling down the snow and it turns into like this massive boulder eventually. Um, totally. sometimes it takes a long time and sometimes it hits summer right in the middle of that and everything melts away <laughs> and you have to totally. keep going. Totally. No contextual alternatives in there. Yeah, no. So I might Bummer. just kind of mess with them. I don't know if we'll come back to it for the moment, but I I think I'll just kind of drag them and draw them myself with the curvature tool, Sweet. which I'm also just kind of learning how to use. Um, I have never heard of the curvature tool. So it only came out a couple of years ago, okay. which is why we haven't heard of it. But then we've been missing out and wasting so much time with the pen tool. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Well, maybe a daily creative challenge is coming up with the curvature tool. When I, yeah. I, like, I teach these things and then every time I do a stream like this, I discover something new. 
And I'm like, cool. cool. I need to show more people that. So yeah, please yeah. show us the curvature tool. When yeah. We get well, there. so I, uh, yeah, when we get that, cause I yeah, sorry. literally just heard about it a couple of days ago. So Sweet. I need to watch a tutorial, but I really just want to smooth out this E to the L and this L to this E. So this E might just need to change a lot. So, but for the moment, I feel like this is okay enough yep. um, to just keep it going. I'm going to pop some sort of color into it. Yeah. Ooh, where did you grab that color from? Okay, so I grabbed it from my illustrations, which full disclosure, I did play with my colors a little bit before I started because I just thought that was going to take us so long. But I would love to talk about how that process works. Rad. Um, so because like typically the way that I make color palettes, because everything I do for I do is brands. And I'm such a, I don't know, tactile person. I always start with a Pantone book. Because like at the end of a project, I'm always going to need a Pantone. So I don't know. It's just kind of how I work that I start that way. So I kind of start with the Pantone and then bring them into Illustrator. Yep. So um, what I did just to like get us thinking on this is like the fun thing about this project is like, A, it's not, it's not client based, right? Like it is, I am the client. So I get to decide things, which is very unusual for me yes. um, and super fun. Um, but also the, the vibe of white is just like one big rainbow, right? Like um, it's just like the most colorful, happy place in the world to me. Yep. So I really kind of am just trying to make a rainbow. And I think I'm going to not try to obsess too much about the specific colors until the end as well. So what I just did is I just started pulling together just some bright, fun colors, and then we'll just kind of see contextually how they work and then kind of decide if things need to change or not. Fine. So I started honestly just like putting the colors into these illustrations um, and kind of just like playing, right? So which we can also do again if anyone wants to see that process, but it was a little time consuming. So that's why I kind of got it going yep. um, this morning. So. All I'm trying to do here is I'm going to build a little board that's just going to start to show the vibe, right? And the personality. Now I think actually we could even bring these guys in. Yep. And for a pro tip for those of you um, that are watching, um, if you are in one, uh, Nick Longo and I every Friday do pour, uh, do a show called Office Hours where we help you level up your portfolios um, and your case Ooh. studies. But doing something like this when you're picking out colors uh, sometimes the sell to the client and the value add is not just here's your color palette. It's red and orange and, you know, this kind of green. It's naming those. And so saying like, mm -hmm. oh, this is coral and this is sunrise and this is uh, popsicle. Um, and, you know, this is Malibu or whatever that of doing those custom names for your colors helps to tell that story and get them in that. So that's a great little insider pro tip when you do brands like this. Yeah, and I think also it's important of why, right? So yes. like we just had named a color agave green for a client and it's like their primary color and everything is based off this agave green. And it's this kind of like trendy hip LA spot that is very much so focused on health. And like, oh, yeah. so, you know, it's like a, 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 you know, green juice workout kind of place. So I think like really contextualizing why, right? And then naming it something fun is, yep. so we had like pillars of like health, visuals of health that all led to this agave green, right? right? All right, so obviously this is like already feeling like something quite quickly here, but I really want to figure out what our typeface is going to be and see things I've used recently. Do, 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 do. So honestly, I'm just going to start and scan through. So I might pull it I do that so much. You get it though. and then you just start scrolling and it live updates for you, which is really great. Don't hate it. I, I don't know how you, how you deal with it, but what I do is once I find something I kind of like, I, I like will save it and then copy and paste and then keep going and then compare at the I end. I do the same thing. Yep. I make like okay. a list and then it's like a, it's like a lineup when they do like for the crime that they're like, all right, say this word. Like it's totally that. And then I just start eliminating people. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see. We're going to keep going. He's fine. I feel like he might, oh, I keep like bumping something there. I feel like he might be like a little bit much, um, but I'm going to keep him just because 
I'm definitely going for something that feels a little bit modern and hip and trendy because of that feeling of like what ooh, what people think. Oh, it's Aperçu. We can't use Aperçu for this. It's been used too many times in my projects. <laughs> um, but every time I see it, look, I like felt an emotional like, reaction yes. to it. Oh, wait, yeah. that's just ooh, Aperçu. I love it. Yep. Nope. I just love that guy. Um, but yeah, I want it to feel like hip and trendy, like, uh, you know, kind of bringing Hawaii into the modern era that um, it's not, it's yep. not blue Hawaii still. And chat, if you have any um, fonts that you love to use on your oh, work, please. drop them in chat, let us know. Um, and hopefully as you're sitting in chat looking, you can grab some of those fonts, go over to um, fonts.adobe.com and sync some of those as people drop their favorites. One of my favorites um, is uh, a font that I think actually is maybe just leaving. Uh, so I love trade gothics, but I loved a font called um, Titling, which I think is still available for web license, but not desktop. Um, but it's one of my favorites um, on there. So if you want to check it out, y'all in chat. Titling. Yes. I don't know what it is, but that's a bummer it's leaving. It's Yeah, it's very much like what you have there with the grotesque to where it has like a wide version and then a tall version. Uh, and it's, it's the, the same. Yeah. I, I love like the squishy long type. Like I could just do like chunky, squishy long type. I just love it. Yeah. Um, I mean, let me kind of spin through here a little quicker. I mean, the other thing is like what I don't know yet, which we might may or may not get through today or tomorrow is how much body copy is really going to be used because yep. You know, I, I don't know. I don't really know what this thing's going to function like quite yet. I have we have a lot of the ideas, but I just don't know how complex or not it's going to be. So I'm just going to kind of focus on headline for now and then kind of go from there. Yep. And starting there really helps it so you can dictate down. It's like, cool, my headline is very tall and bold. So maybe my subhead is something that is wide and thin that you can kind of create that context if you have the base. Uh, kind of set for that. Yes, Proxima Nova, Cecily, 100%. That's like the go-to. Uh, yeah, it's like four of my clients brand guidelines. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, I do love an RM Pro, but I, so I don't know if you're this way, but like once I've used something for a client, like I don't want to use it again. Yep. Like, I, try to I almost want too. like to, like even if it's still the right solution, like there's just like this selfishness that I'm like, oops, give me that one. That I just want, um, I don't know, I just want uh, my portfolio to feel more diverse, yep. you know, than just like another uh, another version of the same thing. What's this? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I think, ooh, that's real wide. That's gonna say 1920. So one thing that I do in my workflow that like, it, you know, it, this is not a recommendation at all it's just how i work is like because we design brands it's like i just start with these like sketch boards in illustrator like yep. so i i'm gonna like sketch you know a website is the website eventually going to be this way is the pixels gonna like i i don't care about the pixels i don't care about you know the the exact depth or width of anything like it's just about like creating the mood and then eventually like if this kind of mood is something we really end up moving for something a client really likes i honestly i'm not the person who designs the website anyways it's just they're just like the vibe right so yep. and that's the I'm thing I, I wish that like we stopped calling them mood boards and just started calling them like vibe checks because that really is yeah. what it is it's like it's not the mood or like an emotion or whatever. Like it's literally the vibe. Like what's the vibe? Like, is this vibe check? Yeah. Yeah. And so like, I always like, look, I like saved this file as Heli sketching. I like always save everything as like, it's just a sketch. Yep. Like it's just me playing. So. And someone was asking um, earlier, uh, why would you do something like this in Illustrator and not an XD? And my answer, you probably have an answer. My answer is there's no wrong answers. Like as long as you get yeah. to a point that you want, like you can do it however you want. Yeah. You know, honestly, I don't, I, I, I like because of, uh, of, I guess how, we, how we work as a team, like I am just, that's exactly like I'm doing a vibe check. Yep. Right. So I honestly don't even work in many other programs. Yep. Like I use Photoshop and InDesign and that's about it. Yep. I just wanted to make sure on that. I one. do video and Photoshop sometimes and people are like, what? And you're like, yep, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah. I would yeah. like color grade video and Photoshop all the time. 
And that's the other thing is like, it's also what you know, right? Yeah. Like we can only do or, or take time to learn something but like I first only knew Photoshop. And so like yeah. I had to learn, now I'm way more comfortable in Illustrator, but I had to learn Illustrator because, you know, I needed vector-based projects, but you kind of just got to do what you know until you learn something else, right? And yep. and that is the fun part about my job now of being a creative director is I don't have to learn everything. I get yes. to hire people who also know how to do these things and I'm going to be good at my thing and they're going to be good at their thing. Yep, 100%. Yeah, I started working in... Um, InDesign, I did uh, newspaper publication and uh, okay. like publication design. And so I started doing InDesign and was using InDesign like Illustrator, but then with like the layout stuff as well. Mm -hmm. And so I'd be doing all kinds of like illustration stuff and like trying to use it as if it was Illustrator and then started to learn Illustrator. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've been doing this so wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I don't quite love this one. Oh, brown. Have you used brown before? No. I oh, think that's he's kind a... of expensive, if I remember correctly. That's I bought great. him for some client. So sometimes I remember one time, like, it didn't get used for something just simply because of his price. If I remember that, I think it was brown. Mm -hmm. um, so that can always be a thing, too, right? You fall in love with something and then it can't get approved because of the price. Yep. Oh, which is why I love Adobe Typekit. Yep. But sometimes you just gotta something else. Look yep. for something else. All right. So I'm kind of feeling this guy. Maybe Marbury. Anyone have any opinions? I'm gonna. We can try this this other one, but I don't know. Um, but the other thing that I'll do is like I can just I'll put this to the the side and I'll just keep building it out, and then um, you know keep getting a gut check of what's working and what's not with it. Yep. I always keep my like outer, my like user interface at the light one because I don't care about the artboard. I'm just like, cool. I want everything white so that it just all looks like my artboard until I want to bring things to a specific place. Yeah. Yeah. It's utter yep. chaos. So this one just feels really busy as a background. I wonder if, actually, let me make this thing shorter. Let's snap this. Oh, got my illustration. Yes, five check. I took a trip to Hawaii uh, last year, and I'm just telling stories now as you work. Uh, I, I went What's to Hawaii. And... Oh, something weird is happening. Um, I got something in there. Can't make clipping notes. If the top selected object must be a path. Oh, I think there might be. A, it might be grouped or something. No, I think it was reversed. Wow. Oh. I, I had my photo on the layer oh, above, or, yep. instead of in the background layer. So, sorry, you came to oh, Hawaii. Sorry, I came to Hawaii. And so, like, mantises are, like, my thing. Like, uh, like or, sorry, not mantises. Um, what are they called? Uh, stingrays. Stingrays. Uh, yes. I was like, praying mantises. Those I was are, like, praying mantises? Okay. Yeah. Um, no, stingrays. So, like, for some reason, I just have this emotional connection, and I just think they're beautiful, and then I, like, cry every time I see them in a movie or something. So my friend took me to go diving with the rays and you like hold on to this surfboard and this like 20 foot ray like comes up and like literally like brushes my stomach. And it's great because I like start drowning because I'm like crying because I'm so excited and so happy. But then I'm also underwater. And so my snorkel is like, I can't breathe. And then my like goggles are filling up with my tears. And I'm like, I don't want to look up, but I'm also dying and I can't handle my emotions. And I just had like full breakdown because I was so excited. I almost started crying telling the story right now. <laughs> uh, so do you cry often? Um, I do. Or I was this excited. a special event? Okay. You know, I just get, I have, I'm like very emotional. And so when I get excited about things, like I start crying. Oh, what happened here? Oh, we lost your um, your you lost my feed? screen share. Hold on. Nope, it's my fault. Um, oh, we Thank did you. lose. We did lose your screen share. Um, I saw a little bit of a um glitch on my oh, screen. Yeah. Let's see if I can get you back. Let's try it. There we go. That should be working now. And let's go ahead and do one thing. And we're back. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. No, you're good. So I'm just building out my like fake little nav here. Um, so the primary things that I want the site to have, personalize your trip. And um, so I want you to be able to buy. So my main goal in that is like spend money on these small businesses in Hawaii that, you know, aren't, aren't having a lot of sales right now because tourists aren't here. 
And um, that's cool because everyone always is like, what are the like hot local spots to like to get the best food? That it's like, cool, I'm gonna help you with that and also help support them. Yes, that is. And the other cool thing is like, even though we might not make, I'm gonna actually change my file to uh, pixels real quick because it's really bothering me. But it oh yeah, not. for sure. Oh, um, pixels. Okay. Um, but so the other thing I think is that. Um, I lost my train of thought there that people Supporting people want to support yeah. the small business. It's just not always marketed to them. So they don't know how like yep. in Hawaii, like you, every, the, the people who have like all the money for the ads, you know, obviously are the, the big guys. Right. Yep. Um, so, oh, 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 that's what I was going to say is like, the other thing is like, a, not everything on our site is going to cost money. Right. So, um, so, you know, and it's going to be free at least as long as I can afford to make it free. Um, so, you know, not everything's gonna cost money. A lot of the stuff is gonna be, a lot of the stuff because Hawaii is just, you know, such an outdoor beautiful place is just gonna be about going outside, right? Yep. So, when I, all I'm doing right now is I'm just starting to like play with what some of these like little buttons and shapes could feel like that just kind of give it its, you know, it's a little bit of its personality. Yep, uh, Arian, you asked, do you do this kind of live regularly? every single day of the week 8 a.m to 3 p.m i believe um and there are also streamers happening on behance uh throughout the day outside of those hours um i myself and monday and tuesdays from 8 p.m to 10 p.m pacific standard time so yes they're happening all the time at behance.net slash live awesome Ooh, rounded buttons. You're just using the uh rounded corner radius kind of dragging i am yeah how do you do that buttons um, I, I usually do that. I'll do the same thing. Okay. Um, I use like the effect tool, like the, or the effect, uh, round corners, which is the old way to do it. And it's not as precise, but sometimes okay. it gives you it like, it depends on the vibe. If I want like perfect, then I do it like how you're doing it. But then the rounding edges sometimes give you fun, wonky things. If I want like a little yeah, bit yeah, of yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, for a long time, I didn't know about rounding out a square and so i would like literally make a circle cut it in half like hit it to the sides of the square and then like pathfinder oh, merge it together i would do right? that all the time yep all the time i still do it like at a habit all the time i'm like what am i doing there's a simpler way yep um but so again this is just like so my silly little workflow but i'll just like kind of put things next to each other and just see and then eliminate that's great like, yeah I, I feel like I love the the rounded one more because it feels a little bit more friendly. What do you think? I agree. Yeah, the rounded one feels a little more welcoming. Um, I totally agree. And I love the side by side process and getting to watch you work of like, oh, it literally is like a compare and contrast A B test as you go. Right, right. And then I'll always like, I don't know about you, like this is where my artboard just gets messy. I just pull things off to the side and leave them because yep. you never know, right? Um, we might want, we might decide like it works better for some other reason once we've seen it on 20 things, you know? Yep. Um, okay, so I'm feeling okay about this. Um, I think, I don't know if we're gonna leave everything in this this color way, but I think it's okay to like move on a little bit from the top and start seeing what like our next sections will look like and bringing the illustrations in. Yep. So what I wanna do, my thought on, on, on this, uh, I'm just gonna give it a stroke just so I don't lose it. Sometimes. Actually, real quick, Nina, sorry. Can we make uh, Illustrator full screen, hit that little green full screen, just so we can maximize our real estate? Yeah, you were, where, where do uh, we? Oh, you mean left. like in my actual in Illustrator? Your, yeah, in your actual Illustrator. Got it, got it, got it, yep. Boom, oh my goodness, look at all that extra space. Got it, thank you. Yep, yep. Um, I'm on like uh, the largest MacBook, or Mac uh, iMac, so oh. sometimes I'm unaware there. Yep. A client the other day was like, can you make the type bigger on this thing? And I was like, it's huge. And he's like, everyone's looking at it in COVID on their small laptops. Yeah, And I was exactly. like, ah, yes, COVID. You have Bones. to design differently for COVID. That's interesting. Like, yeah, a cultural kind of shift in how yeah. people experience design. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a, we do like a lot of uh, entertainment work. And so it was like a movie presentation, uh, like about a movie that they're making. And I'm so used to thinking like it's going to be on projected right and yep. then like, he's like no it's on a laptop now yeah. totally different um i felt a little dumb that i hadn't thought it through but he's a nice dude and it right. wasn't a big deal 
Uh, so for those okay, of you so in I'm chat, we'll be doing, sorry, in one hour, we'll be doing um, reviews of the daily creative challenges. So go ahead and do those challenges. Today we did the phases of the moon using texture and um, opacity masks and clipping masks. So submit those at the link right here, um, bit.ly slash AI discord, and we'll get to those in just a little while. So what I'm doing now, I think is just trying to figure out it's kind of blocking does that bother you if i put down a little bit no not at all okay it's just like there's words there from zoom so all i'm doing right now is um this is going to be like a little section like I don't, i'm sure you've seen like you know the vitamin d to c brand or something like that that just like it takes you through a little quiz and before it takes you through the quiz you're asking someone to spend you know all this time before it takes you through it they uh kind of tell you what to expect, yep. right? So I found these specific illustrations, um, just digging and digging through Adobe stock. Um, what they mean is, you know, we're gonna ask you some questions here on the left. We're gonna get to know what, you know, your plans are for your vacation. And then, you know, you're, you're gonna hell a off, right, to Hawaii. So that's why I picked these three because of, yeah, what kind of what we're gonna talk about right here. So first we're gonna, you're gonna tell us about yourself. Tell us about yourself. Again, like the cool thing is like, usually I get to work with, you know, copywriters and, you know, developers that will actually truly make sure this thing works. Um, UI and UX designers. But again, at this stage, I would always kind of start with this and then I would, you know, take this vibe to the rest of the team and um, we'll start talking about does it work, how we can make it better, et cetera, et cetera. So since there's so much color on these, I've got a little fly there, do you see him? He's attacking. He, it's in Hawaii, we have all sorts of uh, critters. That's why. Welcome I to left the, the door. fly. <laughs> I left the door open last night, like the back door, and my husband this morning was like, there's a frog in our house like oh. and not like a frog like a frog yeah. in our house so oh we spent gosh. like about a half an hour this morning getting the frog out oh a new friend um yeah except they're poisonous here oh that okay yeah that's lame yeah so it was a little bit like i'm gonna stay on the bed while you get rid of that frog yeah yeah but it's it's kind of the only really we don't have many poisonous things and you just get used to it. like i can kill a cockroach with my hand and not be grossed out it's Oof. like just growing up in Hawaii, you just get so used to yep. critters. Little critters. All right, so I'm I'm playing right now with like if I feel okay about this, about using Mabry Marbury as my secondary. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna put them in here from now, and then we can kind of come back to it. So, what are we doing here? Personalized recommendations. So, we that, curated yep. a list of the best. Of the best, of the best what? Of the best, let's see if that works. Of the best based on your preferences. So in your case, right, Andrew, you would tell us zip lining, yep. you would tell us everything else. And um, then the, the other cool thing is instead of, how did you find the zip lining, for example? Um, how did, I think we like found on Groupon. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll tell you, you know, the top rated ones near where you're, what island you're going to, right? So it just eliminates like a lot of research, um, yep. especially like in the idea of like, you know, we're like in this uh, Yelp world where everyone just wants the absolute best of everything, right? Yeah. So we kind of take out a lot of that guesswork and a lot of the, just like that effort of figuring out what is the best. Um, and it feels trustworthy because it's made by like the locals that know that it's not like, oh, it's a random Yelp review that like probably they've like paid for reviews. It's like, oh, these for. are the actual things that the locals like. Totally. And I think the other thing is it's uh, there's not really that much for us to gain, at least right now out of it. Like it's truly just about sharing, yep. you know, so I think that. Um, adds to hopefully like its sincerity, right? And somebody asked, what typeface are we using for the headers? Yes, yeah, so right now that's that. Let's see what it's, it's called. Mabry, Mar uh, Marbury? What, how do you think you be? Mabry, Mar Marbury? Mar Mar Marbury. 
Marbury. Marbury. Yeah, Marbury. It's by um, uh, Colophon. Um, oh, cool. Which is uh, a friend in LA um, designed it originally for Nasty Gal. And then it became, after like their license ended up, it became this and is now available for purchase. Right. Yeah. Um, and I've I haven't used it on a project yet and I've been really wanting to use it. Um, all right. So how are we feeling so far? What do we think? Do you think these things are working together okay? I'm, I'm vibing, yeah. Between yeah. The, the like colors that you're using one and then the photo to the illustration is a good transition. I feel like that's always such a hard thing. If you have a designated illustration style like that, pairing it with photography, I feel like is so difficult and it feels like it's the same vibe, which is nice. Thanks. Yeah, that is uh, that is a uh, so much effort, right? Just figuring out how everything works together. Yep. Um, I think that's like half half the battle of designing a brand. Um, uh huh. <laughs> um, all right. So I'm feeling okay about this. I think I'm trying to decide. Do we want to just keep going through? And like the fun thing about sites, right? Though I'm so not a web designer and. I will never be, I don't want to be, but the fun thing about sites is you just get so many of the elements on one page. So that's why I like, we, you know, sometimes we design these like fake mock-up sites, even for brands that we aren't designing a website for. Yep. Like that, that, that's not even a part of the deliverable. You just get to put so much on one page and it's so helpful um, to see how, exactly what we were talking about. Does it all work together, right? So. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is, oh, I wanna do this like my, my I was actually talking to my mom about it. Um, so my mom is gonna help us, um, she's gonna help us actually uh, develop all of the recommendations. So, Rad. you know, the, the list, the Excel spreadsheet of the, you know, 4,000 places we're gonna recommend. My mom's doing that work um, mm. from you the Big Island. You say that and my brain immediately goes to like, an InDesign document using data merges and like paragraph styles. I'm like, oh, I could do that. <laughs> like, I immediately you know like, what? You know what? Actually, I've watched one video of you um, that they sent to me in preparation in this, and it was about uh, how you set up ads in oh, yes. InDesign. Yes. And I was like, dude, I need to talk to him about that because I don't do that. And, and that sounds so smart. Yep. So I just did um, for a client, uh, I just did a. I'm gonna pull this. Right Gosh, up. it was a 300 page uh, like reference manual, and it was resources that people can check out a website, a phone number that needed to be um, alphabetical with live links and interactive um, table of contents. Yes, and it was oh a my beast. Goodness. But because I can do data merges, I did um, some. Gosh, what are they called? Um, get there's some kind of like coding that you can do. So that it was basically like find and replace everything that ends with .com, .net, whatever, link okay. it interactive, replace it with the word website, and then change it to a paragraph style four. And so it was just a bunch of like technical, oh. you're like, oh, cool. It's a bunch of technicality, but then the actual layout like runs itself pretty well. But yeah, it gets so crazy when you get into deep in design. So... Yeah, I mean, I definitely have to watch that better and learn that from you <laughs> because uh, I we don't do a ton of that kind of work. But then, like as soon as I did, I was like, we do enough that that I need to learn that and teach it to our team because that seems pretty simple yep. in comparison to chat saying that we have a, a friendly and hassle free um, on holiday kind of vibe, which is exactly Ooh, what we want. Thank you. So here, I'm just thinking about doing some sort of like carousel that just talks about fun little things so um you know i really should have looked these up because i might be wrong about this but i think i'm going to say something so like the big island has 10 what, what's going on with those numbers we're gonna check that out of the world's 14 climates i think that that those numbers might be wrong so nobody uh take me take my words for that <laughs> so What's going on here with these these numbers? Do you know, Andrew? Um, I think that those are probably um, Roman style numbers, or yeah, but like why? 
Oh, I don't know. Maybe if but the contextual... But why are they coming up in the font? Yeah, if the alternatives are turned on, maybe? Yeah. Uh, in that open type panel? In that, oh, when I got there, that's I did something? Maybe. Oh, no. So, so it's on any default of those, figure. Yeah, it should be defaults. I don't know. Maybe it's built into the font that the numbers are yeah. wonky it like that. Um, you may be able to. Let me change my head. Oh, look. It fixed it. Oh, look, it interesting. Fixed it. So, oh, not there. Do you ever do these workarounds? So like, okay, it fixed it there, but not there. So I'm going to copy this in, and then I'm going to oh, see if I can just backtrack. I do that all the time, that I copy and paste text, and then just yeah. post it in there and be like, cool, but it's right now. <laughs> I never learn how to do it better. I just, like, get around it when there's definitely... So this this photo ain't going to work, right? There's way too much going on there. Um, But... So let's keep playing. So I think that's like always the hard thing with finding photos is like, what is the photo that's going to be like interesting enough as a background, but then boring enough as a background that like your type can uh, sit in it just fine, right? Yep. Like I can lose the girls, but then it gets less fun. Um, so we might just kind of move on for now and then play with that exact photo later all right so then here's where i want to do the souvenirs that's going to bug me but we're going to come back to it so i pulled some of my friends brands and i'm just going to drop them in here and we're going to try to figure out th the idea for now We'll see how this site goes once we actually can launch it and everything. But the idea for now at least is like, all these little things are gonna do is they're gonna send you out to someone else's site, right? Like you're just gonna su support their small business. Yep. We're not gonna start an actual Shopify, right? Yep. So and in theory, this could be something that if you are building into a business, that maybe you get referral fees off of these and their custom links and that yeah. kind of stuff, that it is that hub that it is promoting small business, but then also you're getting a kickback on being the, the middle person to that. Yeah, like a little bit like the blogger referral fee thing, right? Yes, building yeah. an influencer website. <laughs> yeah, yes. Um, I'm like the opposite of an influencer, but I can hide <laughs> behind this brand like I do with weekday. I have no, uh, no personal social media. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm an old lady. <laughs> um, all right. So then here's actually, again, where I'm going to go into like the same way I tried like a bunch of buttons. I'm like, how do I bring life into this thing via um, the little details, right? So I'm going to try a bunch of arrows. Um, I love that you just did the thing. I, that's the number one thing that like when I'm teaching something that blows people's minds is like, how do you make a triangle really easily? And I'm like, it's a three pointed star. And like people's heads <laughs> just like explode. Well, it is kind of funny, like that it's like a step, like that it's not just like triangle, yep. you know? Yeah. Um, but it's not, um, it's like a, a little bit of a step. So, but yeah, that's that's always how I make a triangle. Yep. Maybe, there's, it, maybe there's a better way, maybe not. I used to make, um, I would do a square Let's and then that. take off one of the anchor points on the square. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done that, that too. And then somebody showed me the like three pointed and I was like, well, that's how I'm going to do it every time now. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe I feel better that I'm not the only one. Oh, I totally do it. Yep. Um, I like teach people to do it that way just because I think okay. it's so unique. It's it's strong. It works. So I'm going to try it. Like these feel a little, I don't know, sterile or like they're cute, but like I want it to be like very, the brand in general details to be very curvy and friendly and yep. you know so i'm gonna try is oh. this how you would make yep it feels well? like the bottom one is like some random person that's like oh yeah you need to like go that way and then the top one is like some girl on like roller skates and she's like on the beach and she's like oh my gosh the best place that i absolutely love is down this like it totally has a different voice just having those little circles just having it right yep. um we can also round the corner, round the tips, right? Um, so, I don't know, preference? Um, I My preference, I like the top ones a lot. Yeah. I I'm wonder if you like, closed I like the top out ones the as well. shape on the top one and then put the color in there. The same way that I'm doing here, but on here, let's try it. Yeah, let's see what happens. 
this is the fun part about design. It's like, who knows? It's an adventure. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. It might not let me. Um, I might need to merge it first, right? Uh, yeah, join the path. Pathfinder. 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 I know he's always here. Um, it might maybe, not actually be touching. Yeah, too. select all three and then hit Command J twice, and that should You're join. You're good at the hot the keys. Points. Oh yeah, that's just join, yeah. right? So it should join that all yeah, into there. Yeah, yeah. I'm so bad at hot keys because uh, it just takes so much time. I feel like let's yep. just fill it, not reverse it. To learn them, and I just, I just, um, I'm too fast moving of a person. Yep. I like. But what I I'm going like, to do is I'm going to go back just so that I still have it. So oh, I yeah. copied and pasted it because I forgot to previously. I had one of those then, like rubber like things you put over your keyboard that like has the hotkeys on it. Uh, oh, like I've when, never seen that. Oh, yeah. You, it's like a little sleeve you put on your keyboard and then it shows you like all the hotkeys or whatever. And then you can like look down and be like, oh, that's the tool I want or whatever. No and then way. your fingers just eventually remember. I'm buying one tonight. Yes. That's awesome. And, but you pick your program. Like yeah. I buy like yep. illustrators, my program. So I pick an, Oh, I love that. Yeah. How have I never seen this thing? I, well, I feel like it was a thing. Like when I was in school, like 10 years ago or whatever, like it was a cool thing yeah. to have like keyboard covers. And now it's like, who's a mm. keyboard cover, but so there it are is some tool. things that I missed out not going to school in, and keyboard cover <laughs> trend was one of them. Apparently. That's it. Yes. That's what I didn't learn being self-taught. No, so many things about, art history and yep. <laughs> the foundational reasons of why Let's there is it. so much to learn. so i taught design history for eight years and like Ooh. i hated history before and i was like what's the point of the like history of design like whatever and then i taught my first like year and i was like oh shoot this is so cool like there's so much stuff yeah. that, like reference that's happened that you're just like Man, it blows my mind how much cool stuff has happened before that you think is unique to you that was done 120 years ago or whatever. <laughs> totally. So I feel like I'm not sold on these because when they get small, it's kind of hard to tell what's happening. So I'm going to try one of these and see if they kind of read better. And again, like I'm not doing real sizes of anything, right? So that would also determine some of these in the long run. It's just vibing. Yep. Uh, hello, just Mark vibing. Bowden has joined our chat. Hi, Mark. Mark is in Bermuda. So we're going uh, wave to wave. I like to call it Hawaii yeah. to Bermuda. I like wave to wave. Yeah, it's like coast to coast, but just full on yeah. <laughs> wave yeah. to wave. You know, since you seem to be good at these like little snappy things, like, you know, the like bi-coastal vibe. So our offices are in Los Angeles and in Hawaii. And I've always wanted to come up with something like catchy and cutesy for that. Oh. You know, the same way people have like, oh, we have bi-coastal offices. Yeah. So I can think on our website, it says like from the island, from the island to the city. But it's just like, it's not short and snappy, you yep. know? Like Ooh. I want something short and snappy if you yeah. wanna- Let me think about it. Kick that around in your brain. Um, let's, let's put a title for what these things are, right? Shop, local, sou souvenirs, Sh souvenirs. Oh, here, let me Google. This is what I'm here for. As your host, I'm here to check all spellings. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, it's my job. Uh, yes, that is spelled correctly, souvenirs. Woo! I don't know how to spell for, mm, so really proud of myself for that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to decide between like black, black or like uh, dark gray um, as like our non, um, non-colored type options. All right, feeling okay about that. So imagine this thing just scrolls, right, endlessly and takes you out. Maybe we need to put titles under them, but for now I might not, not. And then, uh, yeah, just links. You click this and it takes you to Peggy Hopper's website. You click this, it takes you to Fish Flags. Yep. Um, okay, here's what I got since I'm thinking of quippy things. Are you ready for just it? Just right now, you're able to come up with some? Yeah. You're incredible. I can't, um, my brain doesn't think that way about words. All right, so from the LA, right? We have LA office, we have Hawaii office. We say from high rise to high tide. Drop your mic. We did it. Yeah. 
can, can, <laughs> I know this is recorded, but I'm going to write it down. Hold oh, on. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we do here. This is all for collaboration and vibes. Like the chat gives ideas. I literally pitched a client right before this. I pitched to the executive team. And some of the ideas I had in that actual client pitch came from chat <gasps> like those streaming. Like it's so cool. The Amazing. symbiotic relationship that happens. I love it. Um, all right. So I'm more vibes. So I just pulled Instagram photos. So this would be- Oh my gosh, be... how'd you get a picture of me? <laughs> <laughs> this would just be like a carousel of just pictures of Andrew in Hawaii. Yep. Um, sipping his cocos. That's me. With his beautifully tanned skin. That's it. <laughs> um, this is just what he looked like when he was here. And um, so this I think is just like a carousel of of Helle's Instagram, right? Um, which you know, we actually started the Instagram a long time ago. We've started oh. the Instagram and then it just, that's all it's got. Don't look it up. Okay, I was about to be like, oh, let's like put it on screen for people. I won't look it up. I'll look it up, but I'm not gonna show it on screen. <laughs> yeah, don't show it on screen. It's just like, it's just sitting there stagnant. Not like, it's not even, I'm not even logged into it. I haven't done anything. Yep, I have a lot of those. <sighs> okay. But COVID is, uh, it is inspiring me because so many people are hurting, man, and people need to, I, I don't want anyone to rush back here, don't get me wrong, like, but I do think at some point when our economy opens back up, we need to, uh, uh, I want to be a part of helping, helping people find the right businesses. Totally, yeah. And it's funny, like, with that conversation, and this is gonna be a shameless plug, but I'm just gonna do it. Um, so I saw that there was a lack for creative community and Adobe Live is a great resource, but I wanna do something that brought everyone together on the weekend because there are no more conferences. Everything's gotten canceled. Yeah, and so I founded yeah. Canceled Con. Um, and so- Oh, I saw that on something. Yes. That's yours? That was my thing. Yeah, it's the thing. We did it. Um, so we're doing another event in July. I believe July 11th, 7-Eleven is the next event. So if you want to, cool, shameless man. plug, you can go to canceledcon.com with two L's. Um, if you go to the one with one L, that will be our first event. It's our second event. So two L's, canceledcon.com. Sign up for the email Cute. list. Um, and we'll be having uh, stuff up and running uh, in the next few weeks here. Awesome, man. I'm, I'm excited to check it out. Should be fun. Stop All right. It. Yep. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Nope. Go ahead. I was gonna say I'm moving on to make a little subscribe area because all I learned from my clients is why does this get so big? What I learned from all my clients is don't let someone come to your website and not capture their email. I learned that the hard way. I did not have an email capture when we did canceled con. Um, okay. We had eight thousand viewers the first day and captured pretty much none of their information. <laughs> No. So there is now so an email two. list on the website for round two because I learned okay. that the hard way. It is so important. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, honestly, even on our, I think we might have something on our website. I honestly, we've never sent anything. I have no idea if there's a subscribe button on weekday. We're the worst about that. Yep. But um, it's hard I to could, stay on top of everything like that. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> yes. There's <laughs> so much to do running a small business. Yep. Um, all right, so I'm gonna make this, what is the vibe here? I think we're gonna do another button. Yep, maybe we should do it, yeah, like a color pop at the bottom there, because we have a lot of like white space, something yeah. that's a fun little. Maybe we'll do a mix, like a rainbow of colors. I, you know, I do a lot of gradients in my work, but maybe I haven't even thought about it for this yet. Like in my imagination, there was no gradient, but maybe i feel like it always ends me there there was a time period where it just felt like um like I, we try to we say we're style agnostic like we try to like really not be about our own egos or our own like preferences we try to be about you know our client but more importantly their customer yep. right um but it can that can be hard man like oh yeah um to not just get caught up in what you like and what you prefer um so i spend a lot of time learning about people who are not like me you know yep. um and that have different tastes than me because that's you know ultimately who we're serving is the customer um, in branding also, specifically you did all the branding for known supply 
Oh yeah, do you know them? I did not realize that. Yeah, they're here in Southern California, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a. Uh, it's Cole Cole Grayson's business, right? Um, Cole. Oh gosh, now What's you made me forget name? his name. Yep. I know him well. I should not forget his last yeah, name. Don't listen, Cole. Um, I know your last name. Yes. Cole. Yeah. So I actually had a yeah. junior designer that um, worked for him when uh, he was doing uh, another business, and so yeah, yeah I was going through the website. So I'm gonna f f uh, jump over here to my screen real quick um let's do a two up there we go while you keep working so people can see so right above we have weekday studio the website um, i'm going to kind of take them through as you work on stuff this is no cool. supply it's a great awesome business um they do good they're so positive cole is literally the nice person in the history of the universe 100 percent. Um, i can say that even as someone who worked uh, like he was my client yeah, that's yes. when things get rough yep um, and this is, this is so funny. I remember when they like launched this and I was like, that's such a fun mark. Like the brand is like, so, and then now seeing it, it's like, ah. Oh, it was literally you, you did great. Yeah. That was um, me. Yes. Independently without knowing you, I think this is great. So good work. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I, I love their, their kind of mission is who makes it matters. So they're very into, um, like transparency in the supply chain. So they own their factories in, in, in directly employ factory workers. And so you know every single person who makes your clothing. And I think a part of that, so like in the design, you'll, uh, you would see that like when you purchase a product, it has the person's name in like handwriting of who made the product. Yep. And you can also like go into the site, find the search her name, find out more about her and even write lots of people write postcards to her and like encouraging messages. And you get to follow her story of success in the business of now she has a great job. She got to build a house or got to send her kids to school or whatever. It's very, very awesome, awesome team. Yeah. We were honored to be a part of that. That was actually our first project as Weekday Studio. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. It's yep. crazy it's how nice. small the design industry is when you start to plug everything together. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right, maybe something else will happen here eventually, but for now, it's doing its function. Maybe we'll make it rainbowy. Maybe we'll gradient it. Ooh. Then I think we just need a footer. A little footer, yep. Uh, so a question so let's from make Voodoo that Val. Solid. At what point during this process would you reconvene with the client? Oh, geez. Uh, so if, if this was for a client, right, which this is, I, I get to be the client, but yes. if this is for a client, typically what we'll do is, we designed three directions and in each direction you would see like logo, color palette, typefaces, uh, illustrations, photography style, because we haven't shot the photos yet. And then we'll do these like real life mock-ups, right? And you will do that for three different, three totally like different segmented uh, projects. Um, and so that usually takes us like two to three weeks to do three full ones. Um, and then, um, you know, they kind of get to say likes and dislikes yep. <laughs> and then, um, kind of come back to us. And then we, uh, uh, usually from there narrow down to two and then from two narrow down to one and then Aloha at Hello Hawaii. If it's available, I'm gonna buy it. There we go. <laughs> um, so, I'll just put this guy bold in there. Um, uh, in about 20 minutes, chat till the daily challenge submissions. Ooh, um, okay, I should move on to. Oh yeah, yeah, let's, yeah, oh, yeah, let's rock it. Um, I'm okay. going to look on my so, screen right now real quick. Sorry. Daily creative challenges. Put them in Discord. Um, if you'd like to point with me one more time, Nina, um, right up here is where they are. Um, go ahead and head to that link. Drop your work there. Um, and looking here, y'all are doing it. So it's making me very happy. Good work. Nice. I'm excited to see those. So I'm going to move on just because there's tons of perfecting, which is really hard for me not to just do, <laughs> but I'm going to move on for the moment and we'll come back to perfecting Yep. Uh, because I think that's a part of the vibe, right? It's like, you're just creating a bot vibe. You're not perfecting. Yep. So I had this thought of like, I don't know if I like the three O's or more, but Aloha. it sounds like the guy in frozen that is like, yoo-hoo, big summer blowout. Like it, it's the Hawaiian version of that. Aloha. <laughs> So what it's like, it's actually kind of like this cheesy tourist, like I'm sure you've heard it thing where they go like, aloha, oh, yeah. right, right. Um, so I might need some moros, we'll see, but I just don't think they look as good having too many. Well, when you see 
kind of what I'm going to try to do with it. But um, it's like, it is a little bit of a cheesy tourist thing that I'm going to try to like make cuter through design, right? Yes, I love that. Taking um, something that is something else and being like, no, 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 we're going to redefine this so it's not that anymore. Yeah, right. Um, all right, let's Hello, Cena. Welcome to the stream. Uh, it's funny that as you uh, track that out uh, and like current that out, it like became longer and longer. It was like, aloha, aloha. aloha. <laughs> what well, I mean, like, I mean, the effectiveness of design, right? Yep. Like, um, okay. So I, what I was thinking is coloring. Actually, maybe I shouldn't do all of them coloring in just the O's. So like the drama um, is on the O's. Drama. Hmm. Oh, that's fun. So our friends have this towel company called Slow Tide that was in one of the products that I like put in the souvenir shop that's in Hawaii. And I, uh, I uh, have this fantasy of doing a LA towel with them oh my goodness so I feel like this could be like a towel it could be a postcard it could be you know some long cute object and it can just be like something cute that lives on the site I don't really know what it is yeah. it's just cute that, that's a thing too. It's vibes like, yeah I was gonna say when you're doing vibes like this like sometimes you do something like this that ends up being a key art thing that you're like, I was just messing around having fun and it's turned into something that is like core to the brand now. 100%. Like that's kind of how our logo came to be is like, you know, first we just had like the word mark that said weekday studio. Yep. And then we were like, I was just messing around with illustrations and um, not people because you can't do them. And uh, I made, I don't know if you saw that little mark, we call it the sunbow and it represents Hawaii and California. So it's half, sun oh, half so rainbow because cool. hawaii's the rainbow state and in uh california's a sunshine state that's such a fun idea thanks but yeah i was just kind of messing around with it and it became very much so a thing for us it's like our social media profiles and our you know my little email signature and yep all right um I kind of maybe I feel like it's a like needs a little bit of movement or something. Oh, if yeah, they're kind of just like almost okay. <laughs> it's almost to me giving the vibe as like they're um, like people like relaxing in inner tubes and they're kind of just. Like I thought inner tube. In yeah. One hundred percent. Almost like I wonder if we should put up. I mean, like I said, I can't do people. You know, in that illustration packs I bought though from. Um, good studio they had some people in inner tubes so we might take a look at that tomorrow and see if we can throw someone in it yeah that could be super fun it, it yeah. yeah it definitely has inner tube vibes it definitely has inner tube vibes now i think i don't want as many yeah i kind of agree actually okay so again i'm gonna copy and paste it in case i regret it and i'm gonna delete some i'm gonna pull them in and that's a pro tip right there. Always make copies of everything. There's no limit to how many copies you can have. So why change something when you can make a copy and have it still? 100%. Right. That's like the one only of the way most to have valuable. your cake and eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and the other thing is like now at this point, since they're all over, I can just make more, right? I don't need the exact number in each row or whatever. It's yep. just like, so. How are we looking on time here, Andrew? We've got about 15 minutes. Uh, oh, okay. To keep rocking. Yeah, oh yeah, we totally got time. And then we'll do reviews, go through some of the challenges, and then we may come back and check in on what we've done today, do a little overview, um, and then talk about what we're going to do tomorrow to continue on. Okay. What uh, are we going to do tomorrow? Who knows? <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's really a mystery. It's going to be fun, though. It's going to be more of this fun. Um, and speaking we're of We're going to perfect this. Yes. Speaking of what's coming up, 
Um, here's a little schedule, friends, if you're just watching now. We're here today, right now, with Nina from Weekday Studio. Before this, you were here with me um, doing our daily creative challenges. Right after this, we have Adobe XD daily creative challenges with our friend Howard Penske. Hi, Howard. Um, then Kyle T. Webster will be hanging out with you at 2.30 p.m. And Voodoo Val, who is our mod right now. Hi, Voodoo Val. Uh, she'll be live with our friend Logan Farber, one of my favorite illustrators, uh, doing a design off. Um, at 3 p.m. So that will be super fun. Make sure you stick around all day for great content here on Adobe Live. That was a good commercial. Like, I feel like I really sold it there. <laughs> How did you get into this? Um, I, I had You're done- You're so good at oh, the pizzazz. The pizzazz. Um, I had done um, some conference hosting. And so at the beginning okay. of this year, uh, sorry, at the beginning, uh, mid, mid last year, um, I launched a campaign. Sorry, there's a dog that is losing its mind, if you can hear that. Um, we uh, can't. Okay, good. So last year, I launched a campaign to become America's MC, um, which you, if you want to check that out, chat, you can go to hawk.host, um, H-O-C-H dot host. Um, and so I was trying to host all the design conferences in the United States um because i Amazing. love yeah i love community i love being on stage i love being able to talk about design i taught for a long time um mm -hmm. and so adobe has hit me up to do some of these streams and boy have i been streaming and i absolutely love cool. it cool yeah that's awesome and i i uh feel like i i have a lot to learn from you in that i don't <laughs> like putting myself out there i don't like talking publicly i don't like <laughs> um i'm an introvert so this kind of stuff is like this is like baby step for me yep. like but your work speaks for itself stuff. like looking at your website i'm like cool i get it like i don't have to hear a talk uh i want more but like looking at your work, i'm like yeah i totally get it dang thank you Great, maybe I'll never have to worry about talking. <laughs> yeah, man, like clients clients want you to be a thing, you know? It's they, true. They they like the all right, I'm feeling okay about this. I think maybe I could I could see myself perfecting it more, but but I don't want it it could get real boring me sitting here for an hour aligning <laughs> bows. Um Ooh, it like kind of looks like I wonder if we do like a mock up on a towel or like the yeah, shape I, of a towel. 100 percent so like rad. how would be a little bit longer right something like that is a towel i think that's so fun um yeah i wonder if if towel mock-ups exist oh, um here let me do my job as your host and find you a good towel mock-up <laughs> Ooh, thank you host <laughs> that's, oh, that's that's what i do i'm uh, over here frantically scrambling on all of my screens to better support you I feel like I've seen a really good one. So I'm just going to uh, Adobe stock and looking for a good towel um, that is a template. Oh, here's one that on the beach. Oh, perfect. No way. Okay, a mock-up yes. and a towel on the beach. I know, right? Does it look like a Hawaii beach? Like, is it crystal clear blue waters? Uh, it is just the sand. Oh, okay. That's perfect then. Yep. Then you don't have to feel like it might not be Hawaii. Yep. Um, Let's see. Can I drop this to you? How about this? Let's do the like photorealistic mock-up tomorrow. We can apply okay. it to that photo. So I'll send you this um, right after the stream today. And then tomorrow we'll be doing a uh, photorealistic and we'll show maybe a little back and forth between Illustrator and Photoshop, how we can use uh, smart objects and use these templates to plug it in to make it look photoreal. That's awesome. I, I um, am amazed by people who make those smart I objects. I know, right? I'm, I'm like, that is that that those people have to be that's what they do right yeah. like it's oh, yeah. so perfect and specific and it helps designers like us so much yep. it's like the funnest thing yeah there are things they're that, like, worth their weight in gold yes. every time i spend i'm like ooh, 30 dollars, and then i do it and like you know one minute later you're like yep yep <laughs> yeah i very much like understand the concepts behind those. I'm like, cool, you're pulling out the highlights and the shadows, doing displacement maps. And then I'm like, oh, I can totally do that. And I try to like put something on a coffee cup and it's like upside down and warped. And I'm like, nope, yeah. I have no idea how to do that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So, all right, we'll save this for tomorrow. He's our soon to be towel mock-up. That's super fun. All right. Oh, what no, else? today maybe... the mock-up. Okay, maybe when we do um, reviews of the daily challenges, I'll go to my screen and send you that link so that you can download and maybe we'll try to put it on a towel today. 
Oh, okay. The chat has demanded. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. We're not coming back tomorrow for that. I know, right? <laughs> Come on, be here tomorrow, guys. Be here tomorrow, it's gonna be fun. You'll get a double dose of me tomorrow. Do you get a triple dose of me tomorrow? I think no. You, I think you get a double dose of me tomorrow. You might get a triple dose on Friday, and I know you're getting some triple doses next week. So um, you're gonna see a whole lot of me um, in your feeds. Lots of uh, Hawk Live. It'll be so fun. These are just bothering me as like a little too big, so I'm just uh, kind of making them a little tighter. Those are fun little illustrations. And again, you just grab those on stock, right? Yeah, they're called Good Studio. If you oh yeah, so let's I, do a little I, plug here. Yeah, I, I found them, and I saw one that I liked, and I was like, it's always hard to find more than one. You know, like because they were, I had these specific things in mind. Like I wanted, I want something of an individual who's either at a computer or taking a test or something. I want someone who's enjoying Hawaii. And then I want someone who's like in process or route. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to find one of all the same styles, which is, you know, lots of times we'll just get things made, you know, hired illustrator. Yep. And then I found this good studio and, and boundless amounts of amazing. So I bought it in three different packs, you know, but they all work together really well nice uh, i'm trying to see if i can find um their studio on here not 800 let's see here um oh wow someone's watching at 2 a.m that's awesome whoa where I are know. they um thank where, you someone. where are you uh Jotirma? Jotirma? I tried. I really did try. I'm I'm really terrible with names sometimes. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to find people on the beach, see if I can find... Um, you said it was Good Studio? I think so. Good Studio? All right. I will find yeah, it. But are you in the illustration specifically? Yeah, in the vectors, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the vectors, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So actually that's, that's something too, is like, so obviously for client work, we would never um, like have this, like, you know, use someone else's illustrations for our, the type of clients we work with, like they want custom stuff, uh -huh. but you know, what's really good. We use these kind of Adobe stock kind of thing for is even just, Oh, that's so much better. It's so much simpler. Um, we use it just even to cast the vibe, right? So we'll start with, something like this and then talk about the specific imagery talk about if we like the vibe or not and then we'll go get the illustrations made so it really helps us in our process to be able to have the vectors to be able to change the colors to be able to you know really communicate it and then lots of times they won't be the right content but they'll be the right vibe yep oh india there's a lot of people that are watching from india um today awesome. and we have a big audience in india so hello friends in india um Hi. what's up i'd love to go to india that's crazy. 2 a.m. Man, I I yeah, came back you. from Australia right before um, all of the stay at home happened. And yep. I was all like my sleep schedule was completely destroyed. And then I got back and it was kind of like all the day started to go together. So I never augmented my sleep schedule. So I was going to bed at like 4 a.m. Like on oh a regular goodness. basis. <laughs> I'm like the opposite. Uh, like I was I was in Iceland when stay at home started. So I flew home from there from this. And then I'm like, how quickly can I get back to going to bed at 9 p.m.? Oh, yeah. No, I'm yeah. I'm push that late night as late as you can go, <laughs> especially because I have friends in Australia when I stream at night. Uh, it's nice because mm. they will tune in as I'm like ending the stream. And I'm like, hey, guys, have a good day tomorrow. Nice. <laughs> yeah. OK. All right. We got I'm about... definitely feeling much better about this image. Yeah, it's definitely like going somewhere. So reading um, now. It does. Yeah, it feels. It feels right. Do we want to play with a uh, gradients in that uh, button or that baseline? We talked about it. And yeah, just let's. See what I the like the idea of is. playing with the button specifically. Yes. Oh, friends in let's Italy, friends in the UK. Um, Mark Bowden says it's actually August in Bermuda right now, so that's a big change. <laughs> All right. Do you use the gradient tool, like the like sliding on the the path thing, or do you just use the panel like that? Oh, I just use the panel like this. What do you mean? So Teach like me. the gradient tool is over on the left in the toolbar. 
Um, oh yeah, so you said at the end. Okay, Sorry, cool. you start yeah. with that. I no, I didn't know that that was a thing. Like I didn't. I always use just the panel, and then someone's like, "Why aren't you using the gradient tool?" And I was like, "There's a tool." Uh, oh yeah. And so I learned that I was like, "Oh my gosh, it's so amazing!" And even like the freeform gradients, I didn't know existed. And so I just taught a lesson on those, and I was like, "This is so fun." Oh, I should take a lesson on those just because I, I'm like always kind of confused about about the freeform gradients. But yeah, so like I don't I don't know if this is the prop. So I'll like start here just to choose my colors, and then I'll like you know play with looking at the other ways. You know, I I most often use like a left to right, but then if I don't like whoa 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 we're all kind of going crazy here i don't know what's happening if i don't like the direction or the vibe of like you know you want it to you want to like see it then i start playing with like yep the actual motion oh tunk in istanbul merhaba hello 11 30 p.m hello wow I love Istanbul. I got to go to Istanbul a couple of years back me too it's like the greatest place it's so the people are so nice Actually, uh, we went to this incredible restaurant that hugely inspired our business right before we started weekday. And it was like one of the main inspirations for our business was a restaurant in That's Istanbul. Cool. I kind of feel like it's too much. Like maybe I want to yeah. take a color out. Or maybe even if it's like the that like light purple into like a darker purple. That it's just like a subtle... Yeah, like it's just too much, right? Yeah, like... it feels like a lot. I did like that it kind of had the like snow cone vibe that was happening. Yeah, that's a good... Like a lot. That's a, uh, a good reference though, is like, what do we kind of like why, right? Like we're always trying to think about like why we make... So like one of the gradients in our project um, for uh, Color Camp, actually. Um, it's like literally we chose the colors just based off of the LA sunset. Yep. Um, and so I'm always trying to, yeah, decide why. Yep. If I have <laughs> um, clients, and I just did this, I'm working on a rebrand for a church in Northern California, and I okay. grab color schemes uh, based on like geographic locations and uh, home paint colors. So I'll go on Google, Google Maps and like go around the neighborhoods and be like okay cool what of all the houses are like this like brown or whatever and then i'll color pick from like housing samples um of the area just yeah so it's yeah, yeah. Familiar. i actually kind of like the just like subtle light dark orange to light orange it feels very sunrise it feels sunrise but it also feels like delicious like it's like a dessert sunrise <laughs> it's like a mango-y treat yes oh my gosh right, i love him in yeah there for now I'm nervous about this this pink bold like is it is it uh, you know that that gender roles are more out the window now but is it just like a reading a little feminine like maybe we don't want oh a big bottom pink it got real zippy zippy that's a whole new energy I almost wonder if you do like a I guess that is in the zone, yeah. Of like, I'm looking at the gradient of the images of like that like darker blue goes into this lighter blue and then into that green. So I guess it makes sense for me like the color story coming down those images to Breeding the down, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see. Probably end up changing it again, but we'll keep this. So we'll get like our little wannabe UI kit going here. Oh look, our email address didn't make it in over here. We need people to yeah, contact okay. us. Have our people reach out to your people. I want to get people. Like, I want to start a service. This is a business idea. Anyone who wants to take it. It's a business that literally is just people. And you pay a subscription fee so that you can say, have my people talk to your people. And it's just random people that will talk to random people. That's it. It's a terrible business, but I love it. <laughs> um, I'm into it. My We want to start a business with my mom called uh the kvetching mother we're jewish you can call my mother call my mother if you don't have someone to call and kvetch <sighs> to like complain and rent you oh know and it's way cheaper than a therapist it's more like 30 dollars an hour 40 dollars an hour and you can call and just vent to my mother for people who don't have that it's just I, called the kvetching mother i love that idea so much <laughs> 
Um, so if anyone's interested, my mom's available. Yes. Available for rants, for support. She's a I would, great mom. I would totally call and just be like, I had this big pitch this morning and it went really well and they loved it just to be like, wow, you're doing great, honey. Like, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> yes. What I do. <laughs> this is my life. <laughs> um, Sophia, hello. You ended up here because you were walk, uh, looking for some Behance inspiration and you found more than that. Welcome to The Real Inspiration. Um, we are here on live and I keep, so I'm playing with, um, I bought some tiny hands on Amazon because I got bored and I've been playing with them and I keep doing hand motions and you guys probably see my tiny little hands on my fingers and I haven't addressed it. So yes, I have tiny little hands. Oh, Yay. so creepy, buddy. It is. Um, all right. It all looks right. like it is about time for our uh, daily challenge submission reviews. Um, okay. Voodoo Val is giving us the cue. So what we're going to do is I'm going to push a bunch of buttons. Um, we're going to come back over here to the two of us um, on the screen. Wow. We are glowing and beautiful and gorgeous. And uh, there we go. All right. I like that my transition there was just complimenting myself. Um, <laughs> so we're pushing this over here. Confident. Let me push the button. Discord. It worked. Um, so everyone, if you are not a part of this, you can join our Discord and drop your work in here by going to bit.ly slash AI Discord um, right up there. And if you want to, you also can join the challenges at um, behance.net slash challenge slash illustrator. Um, today, for your reference, Nina, we are um, working with textures, working with clipping masks, opacity masks to make a chart of the phases of the moon. Um, so today we're going to be looking at how they use texture um, and uh, both additive and subtractive, which will be super fun. And some people have made very fun uh, planets. So uh, do you have your Discord window up? I do. Sweet. Um, let's start at the bottom there and just work our way up. I see a couple of these people in chat. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. Let's start here um, at the bottom one with M. Bonnert. Got right. it. Um, I'll start out if you want to collect your thoughts. Um, sure. So I love uh, you use the source files really, really well here. I love that you have followed the tutorial so that that third one has the opacity mask with the texture from my wall. Um, on it um, you've uh, very much followed the tutorial well um, I like the way you've multiplied stuff on there um, any thoughts Nina maybe how they could take it further yeah I mean I, I love all, all of um, the exact things you mentioned I would say the one thing um, that would be fun to see is like in the the waning Gibby Gibbous. Maybe. I didn't Gibbous. Know it was a thing. Yeah. Gibbous. Yeah. Um, maybe a clipping mask, like a couple things are popping over the edge there a little bit. Yep. So we could clean them up a little bit. But man, what a um uh a fun educational little tool here and the, the textures. What is the texture? I see the one that's your wall, I believe. Yeah. What is the so other texture? The texture is my wall, and the other ones are I literally took a picture of my carpet and then took it into Photoshop and boosted the levels oh. and then just auto traced it. So, wow, learning so much. Yeah. Awesome. So there's so many times that like if I need a texture and I'm sitting at my desk, I'll literally just like snap a picture of my curtains and then take it into Photoshop and boost the contracts. Yep. So then I'm yep. like, cool, here's the texture that I got. I don't need a texture pack. I can just grab something around me. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I love this one. Cool. And then the bottom right, um, I would watch. It looks like you're missing a clipping mask or an opacity mask. Um, the circles are not aligned there. Um, so maybe play with um, what's happening. It looks like there's two circles just stacked on top of each other instead of masking it out. So I take a look at that and see what's happening there. Cool. All right, moving up, um, our friend um, Tunk or Tunk, I'm not sure which. Um, he is our friend from Istanbul. Um, oh, he's yeah. in chat. Hello. Um, you did not do moon phases. You did full planets. Um, super fun. Uh, Nina, any thoughts? I love the glow. Yes. So fun. Love the colors and the textures. What what um what is the like layered texture inside? If you can answer us in chat. Um fun oh, to yeah. see how you made that. Um yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't know if I really have any uh feedback. I just think it's great and it's fun and I love seeing the the depth um yes. to the sky and the layering of the the glow. It feels very 
um, like a galaxy I want to hang out in. It does. Yeah, it definitely feels like I want to like travel to these planets and learn more. Um, yeah. The only thing that I would suggest is maybe working on your rotations. There's a lot that looks mm. like the top right is um, lit and the bottom left is kind of the wiggity wonkiness. That's a technical mm. term. Um, is I just work on different rotations. Uh, and yes, he's using green textures. And so that's how he's okay. getting that kind of paperiness, cool. which is great. Yeah. Um, I also could see a color glow on top of these that maybe like the yellow one has a yellow glow on top of it to give it a little bit of that reflection. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. These are super fun. That's great. Um, all right. Is we... everything made in illustrator? Like all everyone's? Yes. So yeah, everyone yeah. is doing everything in illustrator. Um, and that's why I love teaching this kind of challenge because not a lot of people think about illustrator as a texture tool and you can yeah. do some really cool texture stuff in there. Yeah. Yeah. This next one feels like Photoshop to me. So it's interesting. I'd be curious. Uh, for Kisha? Yeah. Kisha? You want me to double check? I just opened it. Yeah. Kisha. Kisha. Yeah. yeah. So Kisha. So this challenge was to create a galaxy using um, freeform gradients. So this is a freeform gradient uh, challenge. Got it. Um, got it. Got it. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah. Any thoughts? Feedback? Yeah. So... So this is a different challenge, this right? This is a different this challenge, is... yep. So this got is it, got uh, it, got working it. with freeform gradients and I think we use the spiral effect on here as well. Got it, cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I am curious on, on, I guess the difference between each one, if like, then I could like know what its intention was if I thought it was doing it well. But yeah. I think that there's like a lot of glowing on the, the top left corner and quite like very much so in the center where maybe like the glow could be a bit more balanced across the page. Um, because like now I'm just like, I'm not looking at the bottom right at all, which maybe is, is the point, you know, but it's just like super focused in the left corner. Um, but it's it's really fun and interesting. I'm I'm so curious about how those those stars are um, glowing and the choice. I love the choice of you know some are just so much more vibrant yes. than others. Um, but I think that's really really strong. I agree. Yep. And so I tried to explain it when we were working with freeform gradients that's happening in the galaxy. Is freeform gradients are basically like water balloons. So it takes okay. your shape and then you get points and that point is a color. And I like to think of it as like you dropped a water balloon from a top on that point and then it spreads out. And so you can drop okay. as many cool. points as you want. It starts to blend them together. So I would love to see um, there are great freeform gradients in here using that black and white. You're getting some interesting shapes and tones. Um, I'd love to see color on this. Um, yep. Drop a freeform gradient on top and just literally multiply it or overlay it with a bunch of color and it'll catch all of those um, intricacies and be really cool. Cool. All right, um, going up, our friend Anthony, oh, sorry, Anthony, two A's, <laughs> got to pronounce both. Um, many moons, phase two. Um, let's take a look. Nice, you've used a bigger texture on this, so you've blown up maybe some of those textures that I was using instead of using the fine green details. And is it, it's, there's no uh, right or wrong on how many textures to use, right? Like they were just able to explore yep, whatever yeah, which explore ones they wanted. Yeah, kind of go cool. wherever they wanted to. Cool. Yeah, I think it's fun. I think, I, I don't actually know how the moon works um, to know for sure. I, love, um, that's like the, I think a conversation. Which it doesn't matter. Have, yeah, of like, yeah. I don't know how the moon works. Yeah, but it might be fun to see like a, a more of a transition between um, like in, in the crescent versus the dark part, right? Yep. Um, even that could be in scale, that could be in color, that could be in actual different texture. Um, but yeah. yeah and I, the scatter I, brush I, you're using for the stars is great. We've done that in a past challenge. So you did a great job applying a scatter brush. The thing cool. for me is it looks like you use the pen tool to do your um, crescents instead of using another circle. Um, if you use another circle instead, it'll keep that very precise because it looks a little mm. oblong right now, um, which you know what? I'm not mad about because it is giving me more dimension. So what I just mm. said doesn't matter. You are doing it great and I love it. Keep up the good work. <laughs> and different, right? Oh, that's funny. Um, all right, uh, let's see. Let's do this one right above it, Yvonne. So this is a great example of this is the freeform gradients. Cool. And like the color being brought into this one is great. Exactly. Yep. 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 Yeah. Um, it's fun. I, I, I tie dyed this weekend. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. I tie dyed this weekend. So yes. I bleached a black shirt and then I tie dyed it. Ooh. So it has this like galaxy vibe, just like this is what it reminds me of. Um, yeah, this one's awesome. I, I, 
I love everything about it. I love how you can even see stars inside the glow in the center. Yeah, that it feels like it has dimension and like it's yeah, soft. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I love that you said the tie dye thing because as I was teaching the challenge, I was like, we're going to take a star. So that's basically like a 20 pointed star. And then okay. we used the twist effect and it takes that shape and just twists it. And so Whoa, I was like, cool. think of it as if you're tie dyeing something that you pin it in the middle and then you twist it. And so I love that you're like, it's like a tie dye. Like, yes, it's exactly yeah. like a tie dye. Yeah. Yeah. It's rad. Yes. Um, this is right. Yeah. Great job. Um, and this is what we were talking about of the freeform gradients. You can see that you have a freeform gradient with a blue point on the right. There's a green point bottom left, a red point to the top left. And then you've overlaid that on top to get that gorgeous color. Um, I think this is incredible. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's go down to the bottom because people have said that they've been submitting. Um, oh, okay. right here. So at the bottom, Parth, who I believe is in chat. Hello, Parth. Um, they were having trouble with the clipping masks, uh, but, but that's totally fine. So let's take a look and maybe give some feedback and thought and direction uh, going forward. Uh, I think it's kind of funny. They were having trouble with the clipping masks because I can't say that I hate it though. You know, like yeah, it's still it cool that there's these little textures going out of it. Um, so I, I don't actually mind, but, um, but, Obviously, we'd love to help in whatever the trouble is and figuring out how to use it. Yeah, it looks like it almost looks like it's um, have you seen the Pixar short where like they are um, there are two guys and they're like groundskeepers for the moon and they like sweep up this the fallen stars. I haven't seen it, but okay. it's awesome. It's great. Yeah. And like the story is like it's a father and son duo. I think it's father and son. And they like sweep up the stars on the moon. And that's how you get the different moon phases is like it's shining because they're working on cleaning the moon. So right. And I'm like, that's such a great idea. But I love yeah. that you have those little elements. Um, yeah. It looks like the clipping masks. Um, what you may be having trouble with is this shape, the half circle. You need to make a copy of it and put it on top before you make that clipping mask. So you want to make a copy of the shape, put on top. Yes, which we, I think we made that mistake today, right? Yeah, I accidentally yep. had it under, right? And so that's why it kept giving me the air. You have to pop it up to the top and then clip. Yep, pop it on the top and then clip. And then I think it will totally work um, with what you're doing. Uh, but yeah. yeah, these look these look great. They're super fun. I would actually, on the new moon, love to see more of this scatter brush. Like, I think it's an interesting glow to have on there. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was fun. And yes, I'm sorry, everyone. I had a Slack message come in. My sound was on. And now there are 800 people that are frantically checking their Slack, thinking they got a notification. <laughs> like, the sound <laughs> comes through. And then suddenly the chat is just like, I got a Slack message. I'm like, nope, it was me. It was my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's scroll up a little bit more um, and let's look at one more. Let's look at Mayan um, a little ways up. Oh, yeah. I saw this one earlier. I love this one. Let's see if we can get it big. Wow. We're speechless. That's our feedback. We like it a lot. <laughs> I love this one. So fun. Too. The colors are so fun. Yeah. I love the like loose placement of the colors. It feels very nebulous. Mm -hmm. um, and I, something I love, so one I love the way that you're doing the freeform gradients, ascent, again, think of it as those water balloons, right? That you can see where you dropped the pink, where the blue, where the green, and it's kind of just expanding out of there and they're starting to mesh and move together. Um, but I also love a little detail you're doing with the spiral is you have like stars and like space dust that is following that spiral um, and that's such a gorgeous detail that like the stars are one thing, but then the space dust is like following the curve, which is yeah. great. Yeah. It, it, do you know who no pattern is? This reminds oh, me of yes. his work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was one of like, um, the first designers that I followed. I was like, me too. Oh, yeah. Like way back yeah. in the day. When way I was back like, oh like 15 years ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, him yeah, and James amazing. White were like two of the first that I got yeah. hooked on. Awesome. Rad. Um, all right, cool. So let's hop back. We got about 10 minutes left in the stream. Um, let's do this. Let's hop back and kind of show our artboard. Okay. Oh, sorry. Actually, real quick, do you want to help me? Um, if you just watched us review all those portfolios and uh, works and challenges and you were like, man, I wish that I would have gotten reviewed. Um, Nina, you can help me by pointing. 
go right up here, bit.ly slash AI Discord. That's where you can get involved. That's where you can join us um, and get those daily creative challenges. Um, and if you want to, go to beants.net slash challenge slash illustrator. I will be live again tomorrow. Um, I believe tomorrow we are doing a chart of uh, planet orbits. We are been, we've been in space for these challenges. And tomorrow we are beginning our return home. So we'll be charting out a course using custom brushes tomorrow, which will be really fun. Um, cool. So let's recap. I've never made quick. custom brushes. Really? Oh. No, I buy them. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yep. That's true. <laughs> Time, man. It's Time true. is hard. It's so true. It <laughs> People is. sell so many good ones, but I would love to learn. Maybe I'll join before. Yes. Oh, that would yeah. be so fun, actually. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. Like, we're back again tomorrow as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. So let's talk about a little bit about what we did today. Um, maybe think about some things that we're going to do tomorrow. Um, I know that we have okay. promised Just towels, which review. I don't think are going to happen today. We'll do it tomorrow. Sorry, chat. Don't eat us alive. Okay. Just come back. You got to yeah, be back. You have to come back. Yeah. Value proposition. All right. So, yeah. So today we really just focused on creating the vibe of the soon to be, hopefully, knock on wood, uh, site that we're going to make that's going to help people come to Hawaii, right? And figure out what's best, uh, what's the best thing unique for them. Um, so, so far, we've kind of, we got a loose idea of a logo, right? So, or maybe not loose. We got a we got a seventy percent baked version. I think we're gonna really yes. go in there tomorrow and kind of perfect it. Um, but I think it has the right uh, excitement and vibe and uh, nod to the hand uh, painted signage around Hawaii. Yep. And we promised um, yesterday, and I'm gonna remind us hopefully that we are going to show the curvature tool, right? Yes. Yeah, so, I so want to learn uh, that. that's selfish. We're, <laughs> okay. I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do a great job at teaching you. No, However, uh, we're going to try to learn it together and we're going to have fun trying to clean this up. Um, so then we're going to, then we're going to fast forward here. So we really tried to focus on bringing in just the vibes of Hawaii in ways that, you know, really allow obviously the type and the communication to be the focus. Um, but so we found these kind of like images that can kind of like sway in the background you know i would love this to be animated someday maybe it's a video uh, Ooh, even yeah. of something swaying right so um then uh we brought in these illustrations uh that really kind of create i think the youthful vibe we're trying to show that this is like the hip trendy modern hawaii yep. right um and then we played with colors and try to figure out how they interact with each other. We'll probably, you know, keep playing with those more tomorrow. We brought in some actual products that um, from brands from Hawaii. We brought in the Instagram feed. We started playing with a gradient. I could see us doing a lot more of this. Um, yeah. Some places we'll see. Um, so yeah, I think uh, we're, we're starting to feel good about the type. I'm not necessarily sold on this as secondary. We'll see as we play more tomorrow. I think tomorrow, um, depending on what everyone wants to see, we'll, we'll definitely mock up this towel. Um, we could also start creating a little bit of what it looks like to take the quiz. So oh, I think fun. that, that the, the quiz itself has to be really fun, right? To get people to like sit through it. Like everyone on the yep. internet, everything's so fast, right? So trying to figure out ways to make it feel fun. Um, so we could we could play with that and then we could play with, yeah, I don't know, some other sorts of mock-ups. Um, yeah. And maybe we can run chat if you're gonna be here tomorrow, please be here tomorrow. Um, maybe as we build out this quiz, we can have someone in chat go through and we can give you a recommendation for your next visit to Hawaii. Um, free travel awesome. advice here, right? That's what we're that's what we're giving that's and what, what we're we here offer. for. Yeah, that's what we're here for. Come visit. Fun. So um, we'll be back again, same place, same time tomorrow. We still have a few minutes left, so I'm gonna kind of go over the schedule that's coming up, um, maybe some things to look forward to, and I want to talk about something very special that applies to all of you uh, as creatives, even you, Nina, even me. Um, so I'm gonna talk about that in a second. So stay tuned. Hold on. Um, first, we're gonna take a look at the schedule. So right before this, we had our Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge with yours truly. We are here currently in with Nina from Weekday Studio. Next up, we have Howard Pinsky. Let's see, it's 147. Howard is probably in the back end of our channel watching us, ready to go live. So hi, Howard. Chat if you want to drop some wavy hands in there. Say hi to Howard. Um, and then after that, Kyle T. Websker and Voodoo Val, who is our mod, uh, is going to be up at 3 o'clock. Um, thanks, Val. 
Um, so that's our schedule coming up. And what I want to talk to you about, um, I'm going to cut over to my screen um, real quick as I pull this up, is Adobe is doing a creative residency, but they've also established a community fund. Have you heard about this, Nina? I haven't. Tell me okay, more. Okay, cool. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's really cool. So they've established a creative fund um, for the community and they have put in $1 million um, and cow. you can apply instead of doing a creative residency, you can apply for up to $5,000 in funding for a project that you want to do. So you put together a proposal, you can submit it and Adobe will give you anywhere from 500 to 5,000 if they want to execute your project. Um, you also can apply for an Adobe project commission. And that is a project that they may have. They can commission you. And again, you get anywhere from 500 to $5,000 if you're selected. So they have a million dollars set aside for creatives. Um, they really are standing behind that idea of creative for all. They're supporting the creative community right now um, in a way that is so important. They were an official sponsor of CancelledCon, um, which shows that it's not just about Adobe Live or um, kind of keeping it in. They really are broadening and investing in the greater creative community. Um, um, which is really cool. Uh, I think that they are going to be a part of Cancel Con 2 as well. Please sponsor us. Um, <laughs> shameless plug. But yeah, you yeah I think I should uh, apply for Hella. They can maybe help us bring the site to life. Oh my gosh, that's actually a really great idea. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I will. Oh, totally. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do a little. That's such a great idea. And then it could be. Because that's thing. the biggest thing is like, how are we going to develop the site? You know, yep. it's a lot of work um, and money. So. Yeah, I'm that's, apply. that's rad. That's super. F yeah, I need to come up with an idea. I applied for a commission, but I need to come up with an idea for a project um, and actually pitch it. I mean, do you want to take over the Kvetching Mother project? Yes, that is that is my zone. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. So, uh, yeah, that was that. So let's see. Um, I know that I have. Oh, yes. Where can people find you, Nina, from Weekday Studio? I'm reading your lower third every time I say that. It's just you're just a three name star. Um, where can people find you? So weekdaystudio.com and then on all the socials, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, Behance, LinkedIn, weekday underscore studio. And if you have any questions, you can just email me. Uh, our email is aloha at weekdaystudio.com. I love, love helping students and people because the only way I got to where I am is through people helping me. So I'm, I'm all about helping people if anyone has questions, comments. That's even concerns. So good. Yeah, that's so good as a yeah. creative of like, oh, I got to where I am by people helping me, so I want to help people. 100%. That's it's so fulfilling. It's so fulfilling to get to help people too. Yep. Uh, it's and it's of, half selfish. Yep. Uh, the <laughs> transition for this is um, on Friday, which is two days from now. I'll remind you tomorrow as well. Um, Mick Longo and I go live for office hours and our whole thing is to help you guys, um, help you button up your portfolios, um, secrets cool. to pitching your clients. We are here to give you information, literally open books to hopefully help you. Um, and Nina, this is like a broader question for you. What has it been like being self-taught and like finding those mentors? Like how have you found people that have invested in you? Yeah, it's, it's hard, man. But I mean, I, I would say gratefully, I just have like good people in my life that are, we're literally just friends. But um, so I'd say I, I definitely have some nice friends. And then honestly, it's just, it's just asking. Like, yep. um, it's just asking and like, then that can be hard and embarrassing, but so much good has come from, you know, one of my close design friends who I get a lot of different, just valuable information. He's, um, uh, uh, like on the board of AIGLA and I did work for him for years. And then just this year with Pele, I mean, with Pele, with weekday, I was able to hire him to help us on a project That's cool. and all that came from, you know, me saying like, Hey, I'm a fan of your work. That was it. Yep. Hey, I'm a fan of your work. And then five years later, I still talk to him every couple of weeks and you know, he scratches my back and I scratch his, I just did the AIGLA portfolio reviews with him. Um, we're just helping him helping each other out all the time. And yeah, I was just seeing him on the internet and saying, I'm a fan. Let's grab coffee. Yep. You know? Yeah. And for those of you that are just starting out or maybe students like, there is no like professional way to like reach out. Um, like if you're going to businesses, you can be professional, but if you're asking other designers to like review your portfolio, literally like slide into their DMs and be like, hey, I love your work. I really would love your feedback on my portfolio. They don't get back to you. Don't be offended. Sometimes they're busy. Um, but most of the time people that are like, 
like bigger names that I'm like, oh, they'll like never talk to me or like, yeah, this is awesome. Here's like a list of feedback. Like I yeah. love doing that crap because it's just so helpful for everyone. Totally. I think the other thing is like that I've learned is like have a clear objective, like what you want from them. Yes. Right. Like, and obviously like it can't be unreasonable. <laughs> it's like they're busy people, but I think asking, asking for what you want clearly, um, is, is helpful. What, you know, and they can tell you whether they can or not, yep. you know? Exactly. Yeah. And don't go in trying to be like salesy and like, please look at my portfolio. Like give me a job, like actually be looking for feedback. Um, 100%. Yep. I know if you send me your portfolio, I'm going to try to destroy your dreams. Cause I don't really care if you hate me for an hour. Um, hopefully it will help you in the long run. And, and yeah. you know, the month that, uh, after that you'll end up loving me. It just takes a little while. <laughs> yeah. I think something else I heard actually someone else had mentioned in the AOGLA portfolio reviews this past weekend was, um, like give something to them as like, you know, like take a quote they said and, and design it out and like, just give it to them or like just offer something to like, I'm a, I'm a fan and I wanted to share this thought with you. And lots of yep. times that has actually that's led so many of my friends to the good work that they've had. They, you know, obsessed with the TV show and they start illustrating it. And then the next thing you know, AMC reaches out and they get to design the cover for the next year or whatever. So yep, absolutely. also think about what you can give. Yeah. And showing one more time, we're going to flip back to your website. Um, cool. You have an impressive client list. Um, work with Converse, LA Design Festival, Color Camp, um, our good friends at Known Supply as well. Um, and are, have these just come from relationships, from work, from referrals? Like, how do you get work like this? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we're, man, very much so trying to figure it out. Um, <laughs> it's such a, we don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, but I would say two two main avenues have happened is one, very much so that the whole entertainment industry has happened through relationships. Um, so I knew people when we were young and broke in LA who got good jobs and brought us with them. So we got lucky for that. And then the other stuff like Converse and Nike and the more like kind of lifestyle projects um, is the only thing that that like we had no relationship with those people. Um, what happened is we specifically got a lot of press for Color Camp and they saw Color Camp and they reached out to us, which is like the dream, right? Like um, and then uh, Color Camp. Um, which is a manicure bar in LA, um, we got because I was a big fan of their work or, or what they were trying to do is before they opened and I was very into nail art. They did my nails, by the way. Yes. And uh, they, uh, I DM'd her and was like, hey, I'm a huge fan. I'm just starting the studio. I know I don't have a lot to show for it. Can I do a free pitch just to prove to you that I get you? And she was like, well, if it's free, sure. Um, so I got that project and that project led to a lot of other really good work. Yep. So it was well worth it. Yep. And that's the thing. Like I hear so many people say like, oh, don't do free work, but sometimes it is a great way to go to get the. Yeah. The yeah. And I mean, I didn't like build their whole brand for free, but I built the pitch for free. Yep. Right. Like, cause a lot of spec work does cost money. And, um, but I, I, for me as like just starting weekday, we didn't have anything to show for it. So I just had to prove to her that I could do it for yep. her to hire us, you know? Cool. Well, uh, thanks for hanging out everyone. Nina, thanks for joining us. We'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, make sure you turn in a little bit early at 1130 instead of 12 so that you can catch the daily creative challenge and then come right into this stream again with Nina tomorrow. Um, we're going to get cut short here, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Howard is in chat. Hi, Howard. Um, you guys know what to do. Uh, drop some waves in Howard's chat as he transitions over and let's make sure to raid his stream. There's 800 here, so I expect to see 800 in Howard's stream. Um, go on over there. And Nina, thanks so much today um, and we will see you all tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you.